What is going on, beautiful people? Favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, better known as mental illness across all, all social media platforms, including Instagram. This is going to be a quick live in between uh, one-on-ones. So I'm just going live right now. Bum, 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 bum. Notifying viewers that you are live. So what is going on, beautiful folks? Hope y'all having a fantastically beautiful day. I'm working in the background, messing on my YouTube, my TikTok, my Instagram. We working right now, y'all. Boom. What is going on? AKA Angela, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hope you're having a fantastically beautiful day. If y'all wanna do a guest guest request, y'all can guest request through y'all here too. Like I said, I got about 20 minutes to go live. I'm doing short lives. <laughs> I'm doing more lives, but they have to be shorter lives. Florida's in the house. I am from North Carolina, y'all. Reedsville, North Carolina, to be exact. Reedsville, Ram Pride, class of 2003. I know I don't look it. Please check it and please help. Please check what? Check what? Do narcissists tend to lie about their entire life? Uh, it really just depends. If it's you know, it really just depends. Some some lie a lot though. You mean know, honestly? Some lie a lot. Y'all see, my, I'm working on my new brand, too. I actually released my, my brand, my, my self-love brand, I Love Me. The self-love brand is here. I'm strong. It's abbreviated as I am. The, the self-love brand is actually here, y'all. It's available now, but I'm, making some, I'm revamping things, though, y'all. He won't stop. He calls me from different numbers on my business phone. Oh, my God. Can you not call, can you not call the uh, police on this person? Made it to Empath Talk. Woo. Yeah, welcome to, welcome, welcome to Empath Talk. Do you hate empathetic people? Why, why would I hate empathetic people? I don't hate anybody. I have disdain towards some people, but I don't hate anybody. Hey, hey, you you super empathetic, loving, caring person. I hate you for being loving and caring and empathetic. I hate you for trying to understand and validate them. I hate you. What does it sound like? You mean? Be, 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 be. How long did it take you to want help? I feel like that's a loaded question. Right there. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I'm 37 years old, so there's a, a bunch of moving pieces in that thing right there, y'all. Bro has compassion for y'all. That's why he does this. Yeah, I have a little. I have a little. I have a little splash of compassion on here, y'all. You're very nice looking. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, darling. That's how you get them. That's how you. That's how you. That's how you rope them in right there, y'all. You look a certain type of way. You get away with. You get away with more stuff. How do you deal with a narcissist dad by setting boundaries? I don't, I don't, but I, like, I don't know what what your dynamic is. You mean, <laughs> how do I get him to leave alone? It's been ten months. I'm telling you, you probably need to call the damn police. Somebody, somebody uh, I, I know people, people. The police don't do nothing. Yo, you need to start making a record of the harassment. But be careful because people are like you will call the police. You gonna get a restraining order on me? I'm gonna take you out of here. Mm -mm. Have you ever worked with a narcissist? No. Love your videos. Thank you for the inside look. We appreciate it. Was with him eight months and found out he never had a job, no car, multiple women, no sick grandma. So wait, eight months? Like, what, how was, he, was he paying for anything? Like, no, no dates or nothing like that? I mean, how did, how did that happen? The best revenge on a narcissist is living well. Living well is the best revenge, y'all. I know people don't want to hear that. What's the best revenge on a narcissist? What weapon should I use on them? To hurt them and get revenge on them. The weapon you should use on them is self-love and self-growth. What's the meetup in Austin going to Intel? So, Austin, if y'all logged on here, Austin, Texas, there will be a live in-person uh, Q&A. And there's a live in-person meetup. So, the Q&A is like a private event. There's only like maximum of 30 people allowed in there. Question and answer, panel discussion with me, Ben Taylor, uh, Carrie, Carrie McAvoy, PhD, Lisa Sunny, um... How to Love a Battered Woman. There's a lot of people are going to be there, y'all. So the link is right here at the bottom. It should be uh, narcavengers.com slash Texas. It is a small... The, the meet and greet is going to be bigger. The meet and greet is going to be a maximum of two. The meet and greet is a maximum of 200 people, y'all. But it's already... Uh, I think Ben shared it this morning. It's a maximum of 200 people for the meet and greet in Austin, Texas. And there's already... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Oh! 88 people registered for the meet and greet in Austin, Texas. There's 88 people registered for the meet and greet in Austin, Texas, y'all. So, 
I'm only two hours from Austin. They look into it. I'm in North Carolina. I have to fly to Austin. So <laughs> I have to fly to Austin, Texas, y'all. So, you know, it's a three hour flight, but I'm going to be there. How do you set boundaries? What makes you feel better? What makes you feel guarded and protected? Hi from High Point, North Carolina. Your vids are the best and unfortunately so relatable. High Point, North Carolina, you like, um, you look like an hour from me. I'm in uh, Raleigh. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. I've been with a narc. I've been with a narc for 18 years. Why does he keep going back and forth between me, me and another woman? Why do you keep letting it go back? Why do you keep letting it go back and forth between you and another woman? I feel like that's not on him no more. You understand that he's going back and forth between y'all. That's on y'all. He's just doing. What he, he's just doing what he's allowed to do. You can't put that all on him. Yeah, yeah he's going back and forth, clapping all the cheeks and whatever. But y'all letting him clap each other's cheeks. Y'all letting him clap this cheek and then go back and clap these cheeks. Y'all just letting him just clap away. You know what I mean? That's on y'all. He gonna do what he wants to do. You know what I mean? And I was like, Lee, that's victim blaming. How? He, how? Lee, that's victim blaming right there. You just give him some answers. Like, how? 18 years. Going back and forth. That man, that man know what he's doing. Y'all know what he's doing. Y'all competing. You mean, you're competing for this person now. What are you, what, what's the prize? What What's the prize at the end of this journey, y'all? When y'all competing for a man or a woman that happens to be narcissistic or toxic or whatever, when y'all are competing, what's the trophy you think you're going to win at the end of this comp competition? What's the medal? What's the what's the medal going to say at the end of this competition for this narcissistic person? Literally, this is the medal. You think you think you think you're, you think you're, gonna, you think you're gonna get a gold medal? What you're gonna get is a big ass red flag tied around your neck. Here's your first place trophy. It's a red flag. You gonna stand on top of the podium like woo! Woo! I want a huge. I want a red flag that's gonna cheat on me for the rest of my life. Come on now. Come on now. What are you winning? What are you winning? What's the victory look like right there, y'all? You think you? I would say you think you gonna get a gold medal? You get a big ass red flag tied around your neck. Eighteen years. Eighteen years. Get. You. Sound like the Kanye West song. Do all narcissists cheat? If you feel like you're getting cheated on, you're probably getting cheated on. An STD is what you are winning. You gonna get an STD? Cause I'm pretty sure if he if he going back and forth between two people for 18 years, ain't no kind of. He, he started using condoms years ago. Years ago, he just th took the condoms, and it's disrespectful to mention the word condom in his vocabulary. Condom has left his vocabulary. How to prove if, he, if he's a narcissist? If he's died, how to prove if he's a narcissist? If he's not diagnosed with it, you don't have to prove that he's a narcissist to anybody. You know, very rarely would a narcissist go get diagnosed like me. Very rarely. So you're not trying to prove it to anybody, to except for yourself. You know. You understand that you understand the behavior that you are experiencing. You know what you're going through. You mean, you know what you're going through. How did you recover? I don't, I didn't recover y'all. I still have tendencies. Yes. You know what you're going through. You know, Dr. Ramadi said, you're not trying to diagnose them. You are just describing their behaviors. You mean, you're just describing their set, a set of behaviors that they have y'all. You know what I mean? You just, that's what you're doing. Honestly. You don't, yeah, you don't need a diagnosis, y'all. You absolutely do not need a diagnosis. My mom is so, uh, the question is going on fast, y'all. But y'all, y'all see it? Austin, Texas, October the 15th. You don't want to miss the meetup in Austin, Texas. I'm flying in from North Carolina to go to Austin, Texas to meet people in Austin, Texas. There's uh, 10 of us that's going to be on this uh, this panel. And then, like I said, there's 10 of us on the panel, right? And then there's going to be, I think 87 people are already registered for Austin, Texas. 87 people are registered, y'all. So if anything, if you're in the Austin, Texas area and you feel like you've been dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person and you feel like you've been cut off from your support system, come to Austin, Texas and meet a new support system. People that are going to be in Austin, Texas, you mean, I need to be there. Jessica, come through. People like, so you can find a whole new support system in Austin, Texas if you're in that area. You know what I mean? Austin, Texas is good. like come through, meet people who have gone through similar experiences as you. And like I said, the meet the meetup is free. It's just the the, the private Q and A. You know what I mean? That's the part that's gonna be private, like maximum of thirty people. When you come into Austin, Austin, Texas, on, on October the fifteenth. I already booked my ticket. I'll be there, Austin, Texas. Uh, Jessica, the link is in the bio. The link, click the link in my bio. It says, um, yeah, there's a link in my bio. 
And then it's, it's, I think it's the second link. Hold on. There's a link in my bio. Hold on. Let me see some y'all. Boom, 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 boom. Narcavengers.com, Texas. Oh, I, I, I pulled the wrong thing. The link, there's a beacon link in my bio. It is the uh, third link. It's the third. Oh, oh, I got to change it. It's the fourth. It's the fourth button. Austin, Texas meetup. It's the fourth button, y'all. Austin, Texas meetup. Like, make sure y'all get registered for it as well, y'all. Like, so you don't have to do the, the private, the private meet, the private Q and A, or whatever, you know. But you can do the private Q and A if you want to. But the whole the the, the meetup is the meet and greet is free. You I mean we we rented out a whole big ass center or whatever. It's a maximum of two hundred people in there. But so like I said, link in my bio. It's the fourth button down. Austin, Texas, Narc Avengers meetup. So you like I said, you can do the meet, just to come to the meet and greet, or you can do the uh, the private Q and A. It's up to you, y'all. Come to the Ville, though. What Ville? Torin, what's going on, girl? How you doing? How do I get my mom to see she's a narcissist? Uh, depending on how old your mom is, she might not ever see it, man. Or woman. She might not ever see it. Sometimes people don't want to face who they are because of the pain and shame that it brings to them. Hey, mom, you're a narcissist. And then she she has the damn uh, Ratatouille. You ever seen the movie Ratatouille? You, she has a Ratatouille moment, right? Where she goes back and realizes all the horrible things that she's been doing for 60 years. Mm. Mm. She realizes all the horrible things that she's been doing for 60 years. That might, you know, when I say when I say ratatouille moment, you remember the the chef, the the critic, when he bit into the ratatouille at the end and took him back to his childhood. That's what that's what happened to, to the narcissist to people when they found out. You mean Fayetteville? Yeah, I know the the real Ville in North Carolina is Reedsville, Gina. Just to, had to had to correct you right there. Fayetteville is not the Ville. Reedsville is. Sorry, didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but that's how it is. Hey, what's been going on? What's going on? Ink by Cass. What's up? What's up? What's up? Can you set boundaries if you live with a narcissist? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends on what your boundaries, what boundaries uh, you're trying to set. You mean, it's hard. It's harder to set boundaries later on in a relationship with the narcissist. Yakinville? Oh, hell no. Nah. I would go Fayetteville over Yakinville. Don't, don't do that. Don't bring Yakinville in here. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all, seriously. But like I said, y'all, don't, y'all, come to Austin, Texas. I'll be in Austin, Texas from the, uh, and like I said, y'all, my wife will be there. My wife is flying in Austin, Texas as well, y'all. She'll be there as well. You mean, y'all want to meet my wife and ask her some questions? She'll be at the meet and greet as well on October the 15th. So we're all flying into Austin, Texas, October the 15th. See, Brittany will be there. Austin, Texas meet up. See, Brittany will be there. My wife is actually excited to see you, Brittany. She was talking about, she was talking about you last night. She's like, I can't wait to see Brittany. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see Brittany in Austin, Texas. So Austin, Texas is going to be super cool, y'all. Seriously. I don't have hope for my mom to change and it's bad. Yeah, don't I mean, don't have much hope. Like I said, I just feel like if you want to keep your mom in your life, typically you have to accept them for who they are, but set your boundaries so that they protect you. You know what I mean? They protect you. Torrance said, this is dope. Oh, yeah, we, we growing over Torrance. We're we, we putting Reedsville on the map. The, the real Ville is on the map. <laughs> the real Ville. What what are the main traits of a narcissist? I feel like put that put that into Google. It'll help you out a lot better than I can. You are awesome. Can you not be a narcissist? Can I not be? No, I, I actually kind of like being a narcissist now, y'all. This is who I am. I've stirred into the skid. All but yeah. Okay, Jessica. Cool, cool, cool. See you there, Jessica. I'm excited to meet you in person. It's just been, I feel like we've been mutuals for a long time. <laughs> Why do he always act like he hates me and then loves me a few days later? Uh, the ups and downs, the push and pull. That's the addictive part of narcissistic relationships, y'all. They push and pull. The same person who is hurting you became the same person who is who is healing you. And your mind can't differentiate between the two. So it go your mind remembers the pleasure over the pain, right? You mean so your mind is drawn to the pleasure and tries to block out the pain. And what you say? Are you an only child? No, I actually have a twin brother. So no, I'm not an only child. I actually have a twin brother. And no, my twin brother is not a narcissist, y'all. Can we register and watch online? I don't know if we're going to do it online, Lisa. I, I'm not sure. I don't know if the, the uh, I have to verify that with the, uh, the private, the private Q&A. I don't think that'll, I don't think that'll be, I don't think that'll be televised or whatever or, or online. I know, I think the meetup will be, I think the meetup will actually be online, but not the tele, not to be, uh, what you call it? Top 10 symptoms of a narcissist. I put, I feel like copy and paste that and put it into Google. You, you'll get a, a quicker answer than what I can give you. I promise you. 
is your twin brother single? Uh, no, <laughs> no he actually, I think he actually just got married. He, he actually got married over the summer. Have you done any acting on TV? Yes, I am an actor. Post more parenting with an art. Please, I'm struggling. Go to my YouTube channel, y'all. My YouTube channel has a lot more longer videos, y'all. I promise you. I promise you the YouTube channel is a lot longer. But I have a lot longer vids on uh, parenting and everything on YouTube. I promise you. Hold on. Your smile said your smile is nice. I just got a nice smile very recently, y'all. I just had a bunch of dental work done very recently. I used to have a big gap right here, and now it's gone. Uh, I got six porcelain crowns put in my mouth, y'all. Ah, see, these are fake. These are falsies. Uh, 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 uh. Opinion on female narcs with a narc mother. Horrible. But buckle up. If you're gonna be in a relationship. If you if you are in a relationship with a woman that's a narcissist and she has a narcissist mother, you about to get you, you about to be in for a ride. Mm. Oh, good God! I stared into the skid. Love that phrase. Okay, there you go. There you go. How do you how do you stop yourself from swerving out of control? Stare into the skid. I'm just talking about get, put Brittany. Put your seatbelt on and buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. That's crazy because. Because that's me, and I'm just now fixing myself. Work on you, work on you, y'all. Work on yourself. Can narcs be good people and nice? Uh, yeah, the narcissists can actually be good people to a lot of people around them, y'all. That's where the reputation comes into play. Narcissistic people typically are going to have good reputations. You might hate them because they treat you horribly, but a lot of people in their life are going to like them and cherish them and worship them. It's just like we love the hey, we love your husband. He's a cool guy, and then you you be like, what? He a cool guy. He just beat my ass last night. You, he he cool with you, ain't he? Not with me. Mm mm. Mm mm. He ain't cool. You see my this black eye. This is from him. Is he still cool? You know what I mean. He still. Y'all see how my eyes swole shut like this? He did this. You still cool with him? I'm just look. What did you What did you do for him to hit you like that? He ain't like that around me. What you do? You had to do something. He ain't never hit me like that in my eye. So what did, you, what did you do? Can a narcissist ever be healed? I'm not healed, y'all. My goal is to, my goal is not to be healed. It, I'm on a healing journey, but the the end of it is not being healed. Shazam, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Why did my ex wait? Why did my ex narcissist hate my dog so much? Because your dog probably got he probably jealous of your dog because you giving love and affection to your dog, Gregory Black. Is that Gregory Black that I know? Hey, from UK, love your content. What's up? How you doing? How do you make it work with your wife? Uh, I go to I go to intensive psychotherapy twice a month to work on myself. Jesus Christ can heal you. I mean, if that if that helps you sleep at night, I don't. Jesus has given. G, G, I, I, so let me. Be, so I'm not a Christian, but I do believe in God, and I do feel like I'm on a journey, a God blessed journey. You know what I mean? I don't think God is on the pathway to healing me. I think God is just telling me. There you go, great black. What's going on, dog? I don't think God is on the pathway to healing me. I think God is on the pathway to just give me discernment and clarity on my life. You mean and just help me guide people in the right direction. I don't plan on being like I don't I don't plan on being healed, y'all. I don't it's not my goal. It's just like to to go into the, the waters of Lake Minnetonka and be cured of narcissism. I'm cool. Is he bound to cheat again? If he has if he's a narcissist, absolutely yes. Buckle up. Buckle up and strap up, cause you you gonna get you gonna be you gonna be itching down there. You like, why am I itching down here? Why is it, what's this burning sensation when I pee? And you gonna wonder why? You look at him. He gonna you he gonna you you cheat on me again? No no I ain't do nothing. It's gonna be, when it's burning you you keep on you keep on taking these people back for cheating on you. You gonna wonder why it burns when you pee. Keep on letting yo keep on doing that. Keep on. Y'all be too forgiving people cheating on y'all. That's the shit I be, I be like, ah, it's just, woo. Boy, I'm just telling you. You can get your little cheeks clapped one day. Like, I forgave I forgave him for cheating on me. And we had some good sex a couple of weeks ago. You were going to the bathroom one day. Ah, ah, it hurt when I pee. You gonna wonder why? Y'all keep on forgetting people who cheating on you. 
You know, the first thing y'all do is have sex, have unprotected sex. That would, that'd be blowing my damn mind. They cheat on you, and the first thing y'all do to make up, you know, the first thing you do to make up for them to make up and cheat on you, let them sleep with your raw. You, you let them try to put a baby on you, or you let them hop on you, give you some raw cheeks. Y'all be just blowing my mind. Like, I know you just cheated on me. I just caught it. But let's have some raw, unprotected sex. That'll 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 fix us. Ding 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 ding. Come on now, y'all. Come on now. Come on now. I'm just telling you, you will walk. You gonna walk away for you gonna walk away with herpes or some shit. Be mad at you gonna be mad at them for giving you herpes. I'm like, like, but but I do. I'm just telling y'all. Seriously. I think that's a little blunt for some people. I need some people need the some people need the bluntness. I keep telling y'all, y'all, you, you expect somebody to give it to you nicely. You may say, "Hey, cheating." You want me? I can do. I can. You know, I can do it. I can do it from a, a position of being zen-like. I'm like, hey, I know you were cheated on, and cheating hurts. But what you don't want to do is forgive them for cheating, and let them clap your cheeks. Unprotected. And then uh, I can say it. You want me to say it like that? I can, I can, I can, you know, I can sit Indian style and float up on you and do this shit right here and say it like that. You want me to? I can do that. But what, what would that accomplish? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could do it like that if it make you feel better, but you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but seriously, y'all, take, I feel, I feel, I feel attracted to me. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. But seriously, y'all, are you covert or overt? I'm a little bit of both, y'all, honestly. As a narcissist, what are your triggers? You want me to tell you? you, want me to tell you? But triggers me, so you so, so you can try to trigger me on purpose. Mm -mm -mm. I see you try to try to bait me right there. I don't take the bait. Try to bait me into. Hey, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell everybody online what triggers me, so y'all can just tr try to trigger me later on. I do a lot of videos about telling y'all not to tell people what triggers you. So well, I'm gonna come on here and tell you what triggers me. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> uh, but seriously, y'all, look, I have to, look, I have two minutes. I, I gotta hop off here and do a, I have to do a one on one over Zoom here in a second, y'all. So I have to hop over here. Uh, what's this like? Hold on, Melissa Harris. She says, okay, boom. So y'all, like I said, Austin, Texas, um, October fifteenth. Come out here, like I said, Austin, Texas. Go to the link in my bio, the fourth button down. Get registered up for Austin, Texas on October the 15th. We do, like I said, it's going to be a big, big meeting greet, but it's also going to be a small private Q&A as well, y'all. I have to hop off here and do these one-on-ones real quick, y'all. Um, so thank y'all for tuning in to another, to another live or whatever. I'll probably be live later on, on Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Um, there's a link in my bio for the one-on-ones as well, y'all. You drank, yes. Um, but like I said, I'll be in Austin, Texas, October the 15th, and then I'll be in uh, Toronto, Canada on November the 19th, y'all. So Toronto, Canada, the 19th, Austin, Texas, the 15th, y'all. But anyways, I thank y'all for tuning in to another live. Get, if you're in Austin, Texas episode, I mean, Austin, Texas area, October the 15th, click the link in my bio, get registered up for that, y'all. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to hop off here. Peace. Do, 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 do.